Hello my quilting family. We're back with another video on what type of tools you need to do hand sewing. Not machines, but hand sewing. You're still going to need some uh, way of cutting your fabric. So I have a, a ruler, you know, just if you're only using crack cords, you just need a smaller ruler, a rotary cutter, and a mat, right, for start, just to get your pieces cut for your hand piecing. And what I have done is I've made a design board that basically fits in my sewing bag, my hand sewing bag. And it will have a pin cushion, a thread, my favorite silk pins, and a product called Thread Magic so that your thread doesn't knot and twist and get all messy and everything. And I've kept it all in a, one little thing. And now what I've done is this is cardboard covered with flannel. So it's basically my traveling design board. So this is uh, Jan Kingwell's uh, glitter powder and this is what I'm currently working on. So I have a few stick pins or you know silk pins here. Binder clips because you never know when you need them. I love my binder clips. And this I think is just 10 by 10 or 9 by 9. It's whatever size you want. I have um, embroidery scissors and in here I have a bunch of pre-bagged, this is why I, ha I love freezer bags. I have a bunch of different blocks already pre-cut, ready to go for once I get them done, right? As I'm getting them done, I, I pull them out of the bag and, you know, and we, we keep them all in one place. I also always carry pen and paper around just in case I have an idea and I write it down the best I can so we're always creating something now we can do a separate one on English paper piecing but this is what hexes are and I keep them in here because I also put them in part of a hand sewing project as well but just in case you want a an EPP English paper piecing. We can do one of those for you. Um, I have things like, you never know when I'm going to need a big pair of scissors. Tissue. A nail file because you never know when you're, all of a sudden your fingernails will get rough and you'll start pulling thread and yeah. So you always have a, a fingernail of some sort. Now I have a needle case that I made and I made it with um, just cotton fabric and batting and I put pockets in it so I can keep all my hand sewing needles in and a backup pair of embroidery scissors and Sasha Co needles you know all of the embroidery needles er everything I uh, I have different needles that I need including a really large cruel size you know to do with work with wool and basically this is just felt. I think it costs us 25 cents at one of the hobby stores. And again, more paper and more needles, more hand sewing needles. And this is was just a, I think it was like a nine inch square that I put batting in so it has some, some stability. And now all the, the little stuff, right now I'm working on a hand quilting project. So I've got my threads for hand quilting, and I, this is all the little gizmos. I have, I don't know how many of these uh, stitch, uh, basically these uh, needle threaders kicking around. I have my little glasses when I have to, uh, magnifying glasses, for when I have to do really fine work. Because we're getting older. I have a variety of marking tools, whichever works. This is a hair marker. Now this is, if you're hand quilting, this is just a lovely way to mark your quilts, right? Because it, it just comes off, you know, if you've made a mistake on where you're putting your lines, you know, it just comes off. Like I say, pencils for when you're hand sewing different types of pencils and pens. I never know what I'm going to use. This is a cheap one, cheap pencil I got with an eraser from a dollar store. It works great. Um, 
I'm going to explain washi tape. One quarter inch washi tape. It's the perfect portable ruler for your non-dominant thumb that you put on. You're, you just put a little bit on your thumb and now you've got a, a quarter inch ruler right attached to your thumb and you keep it there with nail polish. So another threader, yet another threader, uh, lip gloss, because my lips get really dry. And do not confuse this with your glue stick. Ask me how I know. I also use Fray Check. And this I keep very close at hand. And it's a Dritz product and it has been a godsend to me. Sometimes when your, your thread will break in the middle of some long piece of stitching that you're doing, uh, Fray Check dries clear and soft and that thread's not going anywhere. So all you have to do now is make your knots and keep going forward if your thread breaks in the middle of a project. Um, again, thimbles. Thimb this is just more marking stuff, another bowl clip. Thimbles are very private and personal. Find one that works because it actually saves your fingers and that doesn't fall off. And some people have those little pads that they glue on to their fingers while they're hand sewing or hand quilting. If you find one that works, good for you. That works great. And all of that fits into this bag. So we will do a tutorial on how to hand sew. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. I hope you come back. And it doesn't matter the way I'm going to teach you how to hand sew. It doesn't matter if you're right-hander or left-hander because it's dominant hand, you know, it's whatever dominant hand you have and it will be so nice to teach you how to hand sew and I find hand sewing very comforting and very calming, especially during this time that we're in right now in our world. So take care, come back, we'll see you soon, bye! If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also while you're there, like, share and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.